Hello beautiful people and welcome back to Discovering Dandelions. My name is Sarah and today I have a little bit of a different video for you. I'm going to um, give you the recipe and show you how I make my most favorite vegan cheese recipe. And let me tell you, it's freaking delicious. So if you follow me on Instagram or Snapchat or anything, you are probably aware that I have been on the journey to making like the best vegan cheese ever. And I've been so determined and I think I've, I've finally done it. Yes, I'm very proud of myself. This recipe is definitely an adaptation of other ones I've used in the past, so I will link any relevant recipes down below to give those people credit. But yes, this is the magical bowl of cheese we will be making today. Yep, yep, that's real good. So we're going to begin this recipe with about a half a cup of carrots and one cup of peeled potatoes. We seem to have a dinosaur sized potatoes at my house so I did have to cut mine in half. And next you want to cut both the carrots and the potatoes into smaller size pieces. Is cutting tiny carrots with a large knife difficult? Yes, it is indeed. After you finish cutting up your vegetables, you want to throw them into a boiling pot of water. Don't take throwing too seriously like I did and have the hot water fly all over the stove top. Bad idea. You should let this boil until all the vegetables are soft and can be pierced with a fork. This will probably be about 8 to 12 minutes. So while your vegetables are boiling, you can gather your other ingredients for the recipe. So we'll start with a quarter cup of water. One third cup of olive oil. Two teaspoons of lemon juice. One quarter cup of nutritional yeast. A quarter teaspoon of garlic, onion, paprika, and a couple dashes of mustard powder one teaspoon of salt and then you can mix it together once your vegetables have finished cooking and you have gathered all of your other ingredients you want to pour it all into a blender and you want to blend everything on low to medium speeds until all of it is incorporated. You may have to stop every once in a while to mix it all up again yourself if something gets stuck in the blender. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment is here. Your cheese, the most prized food group that there ever was, is ready for your consumption and it is 100% vegan and extremely delicious. And this cheese should last probably about a week in your fridge and it can certainly be reheated to use on top of or incorporated in your other foods. You wanna make sure you scrape all of that out of the blender because none of it should be going to waste. And once you've emptied your cheese into a different container, you turn off the camera and you wipe the edges and turn it back on once it's clean again because this is the internet and no one will look at your nasty bowls. I do want to share with you a few recipes that I've used this cheese for, but first I'd like to do some sexy close-ups just to show you how great this cheese looks. Oh yeah! 